pumped. I'm so excited. One of our hosts for the Wonderama house party is none other than Wynton Marsalis, the artistic director of Jazz at Lincoln Center. He's a Grammy and Pulitzer Prize winner and has produced over 100 records selling over 7 million copies. We're happy to have him to the house party. Wynton Marsalis, the man, the legend. How you doing? Man, it's a pleasure to be here talking with you. How you feeling tonight? Uh, I'm very blessed. I'm fat and sassy. I'm <laughs> doing well. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling good. We're having a house party over here. We're so glad you could join us, man. Hey, man, I'm happy to be here. Jazz at Lincoln Center. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, we put on concerts. We have an orchestra. We have a lot of education. We have 12 education programs. We teach kids of all ages. Uh, and we are, we are advocates for the music. So we're always talking about the music and telling people to check it out, improve your listening, get into this, and we keep the music alive in that way. Yeah. How, speaking of music, how important is it to keep jazz music alive in America today? Well, you know, it's very important. Music is, is your internal life. It's your thoughts, your memories. You need nourishment. It can't always be an entertainment product. So you got room for the entertainment products, but sometimes you need something where somebody's really trying to communicate something with some kind of deeper human values. It takes all of that to make a world. So it's very, very important to have, to have that type of nourishment also. That, that's, that's fantastic. Music is powerful. Music is what feelings sound like. And you've said that music, it, for your life, the principles of jazz have defined your life. Can you explain that? Well, the first thing jazz teaches you that it's okay to be yourself because you improvise. Yeah. And uh, it's a very human thing. Like if you have a thing you can do and other people can't do, do your thing. Don't feel like you have to conform. Yeah. The second thing it teaches you is that other people have their thing too. So learn how to create space for them. So jazz teaches you to speak with intensity and passion but to also listen with the same type of dedication. And those two things are many times seem to be opposites. And finally, jazz through the blues teaches you that sometimes stuff doesn't work out and you have to maintain a positive attitude and use your will to create a, a, a more fruitful environment, regardless of the circumstance. That's cool. And that's, that's why you said jazz is an analogy for democracy in America right now. Well, it's an analogy for the ideals of democracy, not democracy in America right now. America right now is not what you want to see. The ideals are that people negotiate the space with each other. Like in jazz, the drums are the loudest instrument. It's forced to play with the acoustic bass, which is the softest instrument. The drums, the bass plays the lowest notes, and the cymbal is the highest note. So those extremes are forced to come together. And people have the right to solo, but you have to edit yourself. You can't just stand up and play your solo for 15 minutes of a song. You have to play a little while and realize, hey, other people need to play. So jazz is the way we want our democracy to work. Are you gonna be part of the 2020 census? Man, you better not leave me out. Count me in. Nice, thank you so much. You work at Jazz at Lincoln Center as the, as the artistic director. You see a lot of amazing, talented kids and you brought some with you. One in particular you're gonna to feature today. Can you tell me about Isaiah? Oh, you're going to love the fantastic Isaiah J. Thompson, yes. native of New Jersey, absolute swinger, graduated with a master's degree from Juilliard, has played with everybody in the world, Christian McBride, Rodney Whitaker, everyone who hears him loves him, a fountain of soul. Please welcome to the party, Isaiah J. Thompson. What's up, Isaiah? How you doing? What's going on? Good. Oh, How are man. you? We're having a party over here. How about you? Sir, I'm all right. You know, just hanging. I got my piano here and just, you know, living life. You're an amazing musician. Uh, jazz at Lincoln Center. You've done a lot of work with them. Is that right? Tell me about that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I was lucky enough. I did, I did a lot of programs with Jazz Lincoln Center when I was really young, um, when I started to become interested in jazz. And I was lucky enough to become close to people like Winter Marsalis, who kind of took me under their wing and, and showed me a lot about the music, why it's important. And I'm just lucky to be able to call them like my second family. And um, yeah, they just showed me so much, helped me so much. So I'm just very thankful to that institution as well as so many other people. Um, that I got to meet uh, other programs and jazz yeah. house kids, all types of things. This is a, a show that we do called The House Party, and we have a lot of music. And this is a, in partnership with a, with a group called the 2020 Census. A lot of these kids are learning about what that means. Uh, I, I know you know what it means. What, what can you say to these kids about how important it is to be counted? Well, I would just say that it's, it's, it's important because you, you are, you have to represent yourself in a certain way, right? Um, people have to know that you're there, 
right? And I think it starts with you first saying, I am here. You know, you have to recognize yourself. And, and I think that's why we're starting to see all this, you know, all this in the media and, and things like that, because people are starting to say, you have to see me, yeah. right? And for other people to see you, you first have to say, hey, can you look at me, right? And so I think it's, it's definitely important. The sense is important because in, in a certain way, you're telling the world, I'm here, look at me, and you're forced to look at me. Will you be part of the 2020 census? Count me in. Yeah, man, we got it. Hey, can we count on you also? I see a piano sitting in front of you. I can't have a discussion with Isaiah without having you play something. Would you do us the honor of playing a piece? For sure. I'm going to play a piece written by Carl Perkins. It's entitled Groove Yard. I hope you guys enjoy it. Dude, Dude, take, take it, it away. away. Isaiah, representing, dude, that was awesome. Thanks, man. We'll see you soon.